Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can mount a external drive on your Raspberry Pi and how we can auto mount a drive when we restart our computer, like a restart our Raspberry Pi. Because if you just mount a drive on a Raspberry Pi, it will be disconnected when we restart our Raspberry Pi. So we need to auto mount this drive as well. I'm making this video because it is necessary for the upcoming videos how you can mount the drives that will be plugged into your computer to your Raspberry Pi for the next projects. Before starting this video I would like you to please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and if you like the video please hit the like button. So let's do it. First of all, let's open the wireless network washer again to check the IP address as we do always. It's 73 the IP address. Let me open the SSH tool and it's right here 73. Let's go ahead and open it. So we are right here. I have created a document for this whole video. So you can go ahead and check that document. I leave the link in the description. Let me just open the document for you. The document is right here. Let me just move you a little bit down and the first thing that we are going to do is mount external drive. So the command that we need to use is sudo blkit. Let's just paste it here and enter it. Now you can see that we have listed all the drives that are connected to our Raspberry Pi. The first one is the boot. The second one is the root FS and the third one is PC Mac. This is the drive. I named it as PC Mac. So it's connected right here on the location is DEV SDA1. So here is the location of this drive. Let me just highlight it for you. And the drive is formatted under NTFS format. Now what we need to do is we need to follow the second command. The second command is to create a mount folder. So we will do it on the MNT location. So what we need to do is we just need to go ahead and create a folder. Let's name it as USB and hit enter. Now to check this folder is created or not, let's just go to CD, MNT and LS. So we have two folders created, Pi-hole and USB. Now what we are going to do, we are going to mount the drive on this USB folder. Let's go back here and to mount the device, the device is on STA1. Let's just copy the whole command and copy it and paste it here and type the folder name that is USB. Now what this command will do, it will mount this drive DEV STA1 to MNT USB. Let's just hit enter. Now the drive is mount on USB. Let's go to the USB folder and check the content of this drive. And here is the content. Let's just clear the screen. And now what we need to do, we need to set a proper permission to the drive. So the command is chmode775 and mnt and then the folder name. So the name will be USB, hit enter. So now we have the permission to read write on our USB drive. So it's done. Let's go back now. So the drive is connected, but when we restart the computer, it will be disconnected from our Raspberry Pi. So we need to follow the steps again. So to resolve this issue, what we need to do, we need to go ahead and do the second step so again sudo bl kit and here is the whole command again let's go for the second step that is we need to edit the fs tab so let's copy this command and type it here let's just go back first of all and copy the command again So here is the file that is open. So what we need to do, we need to put the command in the bottom of 
we need to just enter the command here the third command that we have that is right here UUID we need to enter the UUID here then the MNT and then the drive name and we need to follow this command so first of all let's just copy this so we can go ahead and fill the details let's open the notepad let's paste it here maximize so first of all we require a UUID so let's just go back to the SSH and close it yes so the UUID of our drive is this one let's just copy it and paste it here then we need to put the folder name here the name that we use its USB then we need to enter the UID and GID to find the UID and GID what we need to do we need to type ID here let me just remove it from here and ID and our UID is 1000 and GID is 1000 as well so let's go and change them so the command is complete now let's just go ahead and copy this and go back to the SSH and added the FS tab and paste the command here so it's done let's just save it control X yes and enter so we are right here now let's just go back to the document again so it's done now what we need to do is just to reboot our Raspberry Pi so sudo reboot so the Raspberry Pi is successfully restarted let's reconnect again and we are connected let's uh, go to the MNT folder and under USB let's check that the drive is connected or not so the drive is connected we have all the things here on the screen so this is the way how you can mount the drive onto your Raspberry Pi and if you want to auto mount I have already shown you all the instructions and to unmount the drive you just need to type sudo u mount and forward slash mnt the folder the drive on which the folder on which we have mounted the drive and then you need to put the drive name that you have created and same then you if you want to remove the mount folder just use this command sudo rmdir mnt and then the drive name so that's it for today this is it this is the tutorial on how you can auto mount the drives on your raspberry pi if you have any questions you can write them down in the comment section if you like the video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye take care